Welcome back. Liquid versus Blacklist. Of course, there's a lot to still be decided within today's matches alone. Even though Blacklist are mathematically out, how they fare in the two matches that they have for today are gonna affect things big time. We could have a lot of tiebreakers with her. The wave is gonna push you from the tower, and that's gonna that's gonna give your support chances to gank the Husker. That's why the Pango has to make that work. First blood drawn by Mickey and Boxy in the top side. Good setup with the level 2 and probably the dispose while they're at it. Bot lane getting the green show out of position. I mean, you talk about them needing to sack the side lanes, they didn't even need to rotate yet. The side lanes are already suffering. Gets a level in the sidekick, so should start healing up a little bit. But that was a very close attempt. I mean, they're still going on him. He's going to get skewer, but. Right. Oh, beautiful Def skewer. Any kill they get on this hero, it's going to be so big for them. Yeah, but, um, like the side lanes for it though, AD okay. rune of Boxy just auto attacks down that Magnus. Very, very sad side for Gabby. Abit, winding up the Rolling Thunder though, they see Insania on a nicely placed ward by MJZ. Looks like they'll lose the Rubik. Can't imagine that he'll really, you know, be at risk of dying here. Beautiful body blocks from Mickey. It's not gonna be enough, they're diving under the tower to try and commit the last kick in the back of the head. They get Gabby and they might Tim's look at Tim's dead. too. He's dead. Oh no. Face boots. Just need another dispose. He's gonna try to turn around with Inkswell. Silence up. He's gonna buy him some time, but no one is coming to help him, unfortunately. Easy punches out. Mickey hits level 6, and it is a double kill for the Marcy. The relocate. You're gonna get uh, MJZ as well. <laughs> oh, here they come. Blood grenade. Slim down just a little bit. I don't even think it connected, but more punches, more kills, a triple for Liquid. And every single time we see them pick up this IO, this is what happens. Roaming around the map from the 5 minute mark onward. Oh, they want to seal the deal on this mid tower. They want to seal the deal onto Nisha. Get the first kill onto this Husker. With that chrono, in comes Palos. Slice up, rolling thunder to back up. And it's changed nicely. The shield crash will find him. Killing off onto Insania. Inkswell gonna connect and the rolling thunder. Just one more bump back. Insania in a whole lot of trouble. Still trying to juke though, Abed. Just needs to find the right angle. One lingering swash and he can't even find it. Yeah, now he has the TP out. This is scary. Last auto attack, they'll find the pango. Yeah, he's just hoping that Nisha lets his guard down and toggles wrongly. Rolling Thunder coming out. The sentry spotting now. Nisha is completely aware of this. We'll be able to get that toggle. They even have a relocate coming through, but it's a huge RP. Nicely done by Gabby. Blink reveal and swashbuckle through. Not enough damage for Nisha at the moment, and he's surviving! He gets the toggle, and now the jump out disaster! Blacklist, they don't get their target! They, left. they just needed one more hero, the edge on the point to come. Abed being chased now. Nice acrobatics to jump up and drop low. Can't outrun 33. The control is still there. MJZ in the area gets pulled back by the Void Panda. Nice control from yeah, 33. Nice pull and just gets destroyed be into this tower as much as possible. The uh, tree uses a split. What? Is he trying to what? solo kill him? I mean, I, I guess. There's no I relocate. A panels is dying though. He's actually dying. What? Yeah, I mean, uh, Gabby's around. Mickey might come through. They might just set a trap though. Oh, Look at Gabby. Time it. Waiting for a response. He's gonna try and get the catch. RP on the two. Palos manages to get the time walk off. In comes Albert as well, but Mickey the BKB. Nice soulbind holding them in place and turn around the Chrono. This is actually an opportunity for Blacklist to fight back. They kill off Mickey to start. But where is Nisha in the fight? Here he comes. Palos in big, big trouble. He will time walk away. He's trying to hide away under the cover of nighttime vision. But he still ends up going down. You get a big kill streak on the Marcy. Although Liquid, they're at their peak power right now. So it feels like Blacklist, all they can try and do is dodge. Try and set up some sort of high ground team fight. Get Palos into a good position. Get Palos. 33. Suffering some aggression right now. 33 just running in. Getting RP solo. This Brewmaster very tanky though. In comes Nisha into a double chrono. It's a lot of damage onto them, but it's not enough control. Nisha somehow escapes, but he still goes down. Blacklist, they're able to kill off the Hafka. And Mickey and the gang, they're trying to stream in and get the kills. They kill off the support, sure, but Palos is still looking fine right now. You pop the split, you pop everything. Maybe you'll get MJZ as well, okay? It's just two supports. Palos is still fine here. You need to get some bigger kills as a trade for your Husker and your Rubik. But with the split running out, it seems like Liquid. There's nothing else for them to find. There's a great chrono overall to punish Liquid and their over-aggression. We've seen this come and bite Liquid in the butt before. 
Can't afford to split up like this. 33 trying to TP out. This time he gets swiped down by the neutral creep. Sure, it denies them the goal, but it puts the Brewmaster out of the game for 45 seconds. And Blacklist, they're able to hold on to that place on the map. Oh, he timed the rebound. He got it. Oh, Abed trying desperately to get away. Has the help of Gabby here. He comes with the skewer in, but the BKB popped by Mickey already will punch down on that poor Abed Pangolier. Boxy trying to do his best to survive, but MJZ reigning in with the impetus, and now Mickey's in trouble again. You've basically lost all three of your calls at this point if you can't get him out and blacklist. What a response from them! He's trying and find an angle, but a brilliant lane ward being placed. Mirrored by Liquid, waiting for the smoke to break. Okay, will be the first one showing himself, but you gotta be so careful. Blacklist have shown they're not hesitant at all to just commit. Nisha running through the tree line. There's the split. They found MJZ to start. Abed with the roll though. Trying to get the control onto Mickey. Doesn't find it. And looks like the supports are just being focused down. Gabby tries to get an RP off, but all he finds is the Rubik. This is as good as you're gonna get to a start of fight for Liquid. Now Abed his roll is running out. They've controlled up Gabby, but it's a two-man RP. Nisha, he still has that BKB running, and they just don't have the damage to cut oh, through his Carlos. The Chrono comes way too late, and the Halbert so clutch. From have come from this Huskar. I mean, Blacklist, that was as good of a setup as you were gonna get, but getting your supports killed off like that and the split, it's perfect. They don't give Gabby any sort of an opportunity to pick them off. Oh, they got the touch on the Palos. Lincoln's oh, up. Oh, dude, not like this. I mean, Charlie Tree kinda just knows that he just needs to. Use the spray and scout and open the vision so they yep. don't get caught out by the skewer or the corner. It's still daytime, Gabby will try, but Gabby will get caught. Mickey baits him in and he's gonna die, the Chrono. Only onto the Rubik. Is this really the solo target you wanted? Your team is dying, Palos. Now you're silenced up. Abe just has to roll away, but he's nothing but a beach ball to them. They'll bring Palos back in with the beautiful control from 33. He couldn't ask for more, there's still a time walk out. Palos will be okay, but the base will not. Liquid still here and basically full force. Not really sure whether that's a Chrono that would have bailed them out in this situation. Still Sproinks coming through. Nisha, oh, they break the Lincolns right in time. It's perfect. Palos just goes down. He buy right on Gabby, but way too late. Hauntos back in, trying to get the first kill onto Nisha. Not even losing the first life. He pops the cheese boxy with the save again. And Abed can't get anything done. They just have to watch their ranks go down. Crisp and clean play all together from Liquid. They could have played spoiler, but unfortunately Liquid, if they manage to win this game, they'll be their uh, just upper bracket seat secure. Nisha again being skewered in, but Gabby just lacking the damage. Blacklist out of options and out of time. Abed will try and get the kill. <laughs> But just the easy blink away on 33. GG is called Blacklist. They get clapped in this game number one by the last pick, Haska. Yeah, well, well done by Liquid. You know, Blacklist, I think, you know, even though there's no more pressure on them, I do think there's a certain bit of pride that you want to sort of show here that you are still a very competent opponent. Because they're going to be in Europe for a little while longer, right? And you want to make the most out of your stay here. Early aggression onto 33. They wait out the repel, and with the blood grenade, should be able to run him down. For now, just backing up Gabby, because you know, if you leave Gabby alone, he's gonna be in a world of hurt, as you can see here. Boxy and Mickey hitting that level 2, and there'll be a kill on the Tiny. Also still has the calling to work with. They need to try and focus down this Mueta, but beautiful oh, nice snowball. Ball. Come on, Boxy! The calling as well, you are going nowhere. MJZ will get taken down. What was this? A three-man gang? Thanks for the freebie. And in that particular moment, he was just hanging back. Now to set up onto Gabby again. Here's Nisha for the rotation. Just one tiny kill might not be enough. They're winding up the onslaught onto the Knicks. Looking for the pulverize. Not even needed. Tims will just get trampled down. They have to get this kill. They have they're to. Gonna, they're gonna kill him. Yeah, it looks like they will. Uh, maybe not. It... Okay, thank goodness. They had the glimpse as well, so he was gonna be dead there either way. But Mickey and company find another one. Another setup from Boxy. Now Abed looking to be in some trouble if only they could see him. It's nighttime at the moment. Three heroes on blacklist around this area, but they can't really connect and stay safe. MJZ will just get worked. And start trying to find these pickoffs on the map once he gets his second clone up. Maybe once the fuser is done, but now Gabby is still continuing to suffer. Shot, a bit of a misplay there, bumping him over the wall, but it's not gonna matter. Punch up and pulverize down. 
can't even decide the direction they want to throw him in. Actually, go for this. It's way too deep. That's the glimpse back onto Nisha. Already got the fates eat uh, fates end onto him though. And resisting so much of the damage. Insania still has the ult if need be. Turn around the pulverize control up on the Meepo Palos. Where you go and straight back into our arms. I mean so far, I, I guess the one small silver lining is that Nisha can't make any solo kills on the MJZ because it's an easy dream spec, there's nothing to do right now. Ancha, Abed, being just fully controlled and despite his Yules. I mean, they aren't really doing anything on the offensive front right now. They have a Primal Beast running into their fortunes and perfectly lined up. Tim's just gonna go down. In comes Palos though, nice Static Storm. Collapse onto Insania and punish the Oracle. Nice Guardian Angel, but it's not gonna bail Boxy out. The Glimpse back onto 33 as well. He's kinda out of options, but he still has the Face Boots and the Moon Speed. Nisha waiting around with an Invis. Very tanky on this Omni, has to pop the Guardian Angel on himself, but the magic damage more than enough. And Glimpse, you're not really running away. I guess they were... Not ready for the level 6 of the MDZ. Always to get his level 6 final. Had to step to the uh, stop. Palos. Oh, oh boy. Killed off. Just when you thought Blacklist might have started pulling themselves back into things. Again, being wrapped around the pod. Gabby with the setup. MJZ is there, but nothing else he can do. Yeah, there's a chance here. This still is a very good Meepo game. All things considered, right? They don't have a lot of control on him. I say that. There's the calling. There's the stuff. I admit full Just responsibility. Disappear. I admit full responsibility for that kill. That's my bad. I shouldn't have said a thing. MJZ now. The eye shards up. Off the mark. But Liquid, no shortage of tools to get that chase on. Get another. Set up in the mid lane though, Gabby with the blink reveal, tossing back onto Mickey. In some trouble now, they don't have the Oracle save. Nisha pops the BKB, but Blacklist, that's a great setup. If they can find more, that'll be huge. They want to make the most out of this Exo, the Vim's perfectly timed, holding the Primal Beast in place, but the rest of the gang coming through now. Insania still has the ultimate to pop out, there's the false promise. The Snowball as well, turning back onto Palos, and the Meepo is gone. Guardian Angel as well. 33 has shown up to play Boxy. Looking to go down though, the second Guardian Angel committed. Liquid, they're starting to run out of resources here. They've killed up Primal and the Task. Now here's Gabby with another setup. This bling reveal has worked out marvelously for them. And 33 is the only one who's able to escape. They just turn and look at you and they kill you off. But now Palos being focused down. Gets the Mega Meepo off. Where's the help from the rest of Blacklist? Static Storm comes out a little bit too late. And the Meepo just goes down. Gabby still trying to find some sort of return kill. Will find Boxy. And the glimpse back again, they found Nisha. This Primal Beast caught in between the trees, has the Trample and the Guardian Angel to get himself out of trouble. The Yules, Abed with the setup, still holding him down. Blacklist, again and again, they just keep tossing these Liquid Heroes back. He's been instrumental for Blacklist in terms of their comeback in this game so far. Every time with the setup, double avalanche hit the Static Storm, it's perfect! Gabby's found them, forcing the false promise out, and the Guardian Angel, Mickey standing and delivering with the guns, blasting them to bits. The Mega Meepo just has to run. It was a perfect start to the fight from Blacklist, but they just don't have the firepower up against the Gunslinger. Palos has to try and TP out behind the trees, but nowhere to run. I saw the Oracle like being far back, right? I don't think they yeah. would have made that move without the Angel. Maybe they thought they could just catch Liquid by surprise. They'll catch 33 by surprise, kill off the Omni. It's just one Primal Beast at the moment. Now they're TPing back. Mickey is all alone here. There's a glimpse available. They still have the Thunderstrike. Pulling back in, Static Storm. There's Gabby with the setup as well. Liquid kills are rather far away, but a nice Hurricane Pike from Mickey creates the distance. And now he's just shooting away. Curse of the Old Grove. Gonna hold Mickey in place, but again, beautiful face leading and Raid of Destiny. Now Palos is the one in trouble. Boxy on the front lines, he'll be the one to go down and sacrifice his life. Where are the rest of the Liquid Heroes? Nowhere to be found now, Glimpse back onto Moeta. That's gonna be a first life loss, but no, Pierce the Bale, turn around, sling some guns. Palos, all oh, the crits, raining in, the last Meepo. He'll manage to survive though, Blacklist with a full surround onto this Moeta. Ghosts are coming out and you might be undead, but we could still do a number onto you. All these stuns in control, Nisha. Can't make it to the fight in time. And another situation where Liquid, for some reason, they've chosen to split up on the map. And they're giving Blacklist, Blacklist these chances. And this is the power of their lineup. They're able to connect very quickly. Of course, I mean, you're under their tier 2 tower. It's a... Uh, oh... Hey, Moeta just went all out offensive items. He has a data stun. I'm gonna go for a pick off here. Gabby. 
gonna get reset. Set up a bomb. Nice yules though from Arbet, but it's still not gonna be enough. They kill off the tiny to start. And now the rest of Blacklist, they just have to try and run. Looking like a scary situation. Mickey just jumps forward, does so much damage. Nice TP away from Abed with that BKB though, preserves his own life. Okay, no messing around, we group up as five, what you gotta do? Let's see this team fight that you have, Blacklist. 5v5 situation now, Gabby looking for an opening, he's gonna jump in for that avalanche. Static Storm, there's the combination, but being trampled down, all of the meeples just get melted! Mickey's gonna come through and blast them all to smithereens, Blacklist! They don't stand a chance in this fight. He ran straight into the meat grinder, and his name is Mickey. Double barreled up, ready to serve, and that's a lane of racks down, could be a next. Tim's getting found out by 33 on an absolute warpath. Lane of Destiny from Insania, healing them up big time, Nisha able to pop BKB. And you think maybe Blacklist, if they were 10 to 15 minutes ahead in this game, maybe the Disruptor Agonims, maybe even more tools like the Hex or the Shivas. The hero is definitely a liability to your team. And this is the last draw, Kalos looking for a backstab. Try. Right. MJZ gets spotted out first. There's Palo jumping out onto Insania, but the Guardian Angel, Insania, false promises himself. He is A-OK, -okay, stuck in the Static Storm, but he doesn't need to cast a spell because his team's doing all the work. Abed pops the BKB, just has to run with the ghost, and Insania back up to full HP. Way too many defensive protocols for Liquid to work with. And the shot through onto MJZ. GG is called Blacklist. They're out of this game. Yeah, GG. Liquid just uh, showing even though they're not using uh, nothing, they're just trying out different heroes but